knocking at the door. Someone's in the kitchen with Willie. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Willie. It's Bad Boy of Baking, Liam Charles. Now it's time to start the show. Hello and welcome to Someone's in the Kitchen. It's a show in a kitchen with me, Willie, and someone. Today we have a very special guest in the kitchen. It's Liam Charles. He's the star of Bake Off. He does present the professional Bake Off. He also does present the children's Bake Off. And he's arguably the biggest master baker I've ever met in my life. Let's let him in. <laughs> Come on in. Close this, don't let draft in. There we go, how you doing? I'm good, brother. Welcome to the show. Thank you. This is my kitchen. It's actually very penguin. It's it's alright. It's very minimalistic. Liam, tell me. Yes. How are you? I'm alright, you Yeah? I feel nice. Good. Good. It took long to get here though. Takes a while. We can't tell you where in London we are because it's top secret, but Liam came from somewhere that was far away from here in a car. The guy took the piss. So I don't yeah. know. Am I oh, you can swear. Uh, it's yes! YouTube. It's YouTube. Yes. And there's no kids. Do you know how good that is? Yeah. Because I never get to swear on the, like, the shows that I do. Yeah. Me, so. yeah. Not even Being the it. professionals. No, I can't swear. Oh, no, no, no. I did swear once, yeah. Oh, no. And they put it in the show. But oh. they beeped it. Oh, what? Yeah. Was it a fuck or a shit? The oh. sugar show piece must have collapsed, yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And then, like, it went beep. And then people were like, Liam, you swore. Oh, my I'm God. Like, I feel like everyone thinks that I'm like, I am an angel. Yeah. But, like, I'm not like a. You definitely do have a reputation of being like a sort of like family entertainment, good guy. You know, wouldn't, but I know that you do a lot of heroin in your spare time. No, I do not. <laughs> I, well, I mean, like, I don't I'm drugs. just saying, I've been there with you when you've been doing a bit of heroin. That and is such a. I, look, it's fine, it's YouTube, it's not TV, and we're allowed to say it. But anyway, we're here for a reason, Liam, and it's not so you can do more heroin. Today, have you bought a secret ingredient with you? Yes. Can you show me it? I've got. <coughs> A chorizo ring. It's a chorizo ring. Wait, I've got another one. What? Uh, it's a ring too. Whatever <laughs> variation. Oh right. Oh, is this a? Oh. Okay. Okay. And how did you? How did you? How did you acquire these? Come on, to go to the supermarket. He got his mum to go to the supermarket. And actually, what's your mum called? Eleanor. Eleanor has delivered today. I know what I'm going to make you now because I've got a dish that chorizo is the star of the show in. It's a chorizo and lemon pasta. It's like creamy, it's got some lemon, it's got some zest, it's got some red onion, and you kind of like use the oil from the chorizo to like make the creamy sauce. Very simple, it's very delicious, and it is lunchtime. Can I get you a drink? Yes. Okay. Can I get a gin and tonic? A gin and tonic, you absolutely can. Here's one that I definitely Prepared didn't earlier. Prepare, prepare earlier. <laughs> there we go. And uh, that's there for you. And okay. I'm going to get myself a drink as well from my fridge. So <laughs> just going to skip there. Uh, I've got this very special What Willy Lager um, that you can buy in all good cooperatives. And I'm going to have one of these. Right. Let me just crack this open. What's it called? What Willy Lager? It's a What Willy Lager. Yeah. Do you know how wrong that sounds? Well, I've heard things that sound worse. <laughs> you chop that up into. I just want to cut them. I reckon just like really, really rough. Because normally I'd have them in like little little nuggets. But I reckon we do all of that. You know what this looks like? We're not watching prime time Liam anymore. Hey. This is watershed Liam. This is rogue Liam. Word of the day. My special researcher, Alex. He comes up with a word each episode. Yeah. Then we, we discuss the etymology of that word. Etymology? Yeah, we break that word down, basically. With this word, I don't think there's actually much of that that we have to do. It's really just, do you know what win it means? Win it. Win it. Mm, have a guess. I'm going to guess, like, something like BD. BD? Yeah. Okay, what? Win it. You know, like, the, you know, nits at the end of something. It's something small. Win it. Win it. Uh, Do you reckon you can break it down some more? I'm going to use a whole red onion here because we've fine. got quite a lot of chorizo. Um, win it. Win it. Think more of an urban dictionary word than a dictionary word. Is it a small willy? It's, no, it's, it's not a small willy. It's something to do with going to the toilet. 
Was it a small poo? Like bullets or poo? So like... Oh, we're getting there. Like, so like... Yeah? We're getting there. Is it when you wipe your bum and then maybe like you see those little pieces of poo that's come from your bum hole and it's that's the winners. Am I right? <laughs> You've got to be in it to win it, baby. And Liam is in it to win it. How do I know that? I don't know. That's I don't know how you broke that down so... <laughs> So quickly, <laughs> that was that was very impressive. Word of the day. Right, uh, so Liam, you're known as a master baker. Mm -hmm. It will never stop being funny that mm -hmm. that sounds a lot like masturbator. Yeah. Uh, and I hear that you have a little story about uh, master <sighs> bakers. Well, I went out yesterday. I was on a date. Okay. But we've been drinking a lot of white wine. Not loads, but like en bit. enough to make you feel a bit. Loosey goosey. Right. Yeah. And obviously, after a while, you're talking, you're saying some smoky stuff to each other. Right. You know? So, literally, I've got up here and I was like, The following story has been censored to protect Liam's future interests working in children's television. Right. Right. So, I was like, I don't want to shit in a pub. Right. But I thought that was the only way to release, like, a Right. But I mean, that's not, it doesn't, that's not the recommended way of doing it. I feel hot, a bit flustered, yeah? So I just stripped butt naked, yeah? <laughs> I, was just, I was like, just, okay. <laughs> like, oh, please, just, just stop. So basically, <laughs> let me get this straight. God. Your <laughs> was so bad, you had to go home for a poo. That didn't help the <laughs> So you took all your clothes off and shook yourself around. Bro, I was just like this. Are you sure you weren't like having a heart attack Dude, or something? Dude, I don't know what was wrong with me, yeah. but all down here was moving mad. You went to bed, which is the best thing to do. Mm. Always sleep when there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Nothing can harm you in your sleep. No. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, then you woke up and everything was fine. Yeah, pretty much. So we lit, that's why. There we go. And now, it's question time. Welcome to Question Time with <laughs> Liam Charles. I just can't stop laughing at So, you. this is the part of the show where we ask you the serious questions. In 2018, you wrote your first cookbook, oh Cheeky Treats, A Brief History of the Cheeky Girls. Did you consult the girls themselves before you wrote your book? Yeah, I, I actually have um, one of them I used to date. Which one? Um, the third one. Right. Yeah, yeah, the third one. She lives near me. I was like, oh, I need help with this book. And then she's like, yeah, come around and stuff like that. So we spent a lot of time together, made this book, and that was my first book. Do you know what they're doing now? One's actually in prison. No. No? No. Oh, the third one that you know. Yeah, yeah. She's, in she's prison. actually in prison. The other two both work in Hyundai car dealerships, one in Yorkshire and one in Lincolnshire. Uh, you trained as a goldsmith. What caused you to change career path and become a baker? Second year of my course, yeah. Mm. It was so dry. Goldsmithery. But I started to bake when I was like 16. Right. So I was always doing baking on the side. You were a late bloomer. Hmm? Late bloomer, 60, that's not, is it? I don't guess so. You it's, a, it's a bread joke. Oh, yeah. that was pretty good, you know. Yeah. That was question time. <laughs> right, Liam, mm -hmm. now it's time to do some cooking, which is not something you know how to do because you only know how to bake, which is a form of cooking, but it's actually different. So this, right, what we do is, it's a bit like baking, yeah. right? But instead <clears> of it being very scientific, it's much more of an art form. Pasta, I need you to grab the pasta from the cupboards. But where is the pasta? So, that's your fridge. That is the fridge. No one's fridge is close to one said cupboard. This way. The pasta's in that cupboard, could it be? Oh, perhaps. Oh, there we go. He's found the penne. So, we're gonna go chorizo for cold pan. All of this going on there. Um, I'm gonna give this pasta a little. You stirred it with a sieve. I just, <laughs> it's what I had to hand. I didn't want to get that way. <laughs> 2000, that was pretty sick, I like. Yeah. There we go. Maybe hit them with some pepper from this magical pepper wand. That is cold. Yeah, it's pretty that, cool. Can I see that? <laughs> I am not your father. I've done it with cream. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer to use creme fraiche. Then uh, we'll go a splash. Let's put star water. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we'll just mix that saucy business together. And then we're gonna go in with some lemon juice. So this is actually what this sieve's for, because... Oh, the seeds. I don't like it. 
You don't want pips in your, in your pasta, do you? So I'll get that in there. Parmesan, just a little bit of lemon zest in. I think that's what, that's the nicest thing about cooking, is that you don't have to measure anything. No, I know, and that's the thing, like that is that is why I'm quite averse to baking, just yeah, because yeah, yeah. that sort of, you have to measure everything out, and it, it, it will go completely wrong if you don't measure it out. That's the other thing, it's like... Safe. That's food. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me serve us up a little, little bowl of goodness. So, your favourite ingredient is chorizo. Mm -hmm. This is a chorizo lemon pasta. It's simple, it's effective, like blunt force trauma, and it is also just very, very tasty, so. Grazie. Fork. Mm. Chorizo is definitely the hero. Mm -hmm. Love that. Mm -hmm. Slightly creamy. Yep. Bit of cheese, loads of cheese. Mm -hmm. Flatly mm -hmm. parsley. Mm. It is pen. And the pasta's cooked banging. Mm. It's not too soggy. Mm -hmm. So it has a, what's it, what do they, what do they say? Al dente. Alistair dente. Alistair. <laughs> the lemon just creeps in, because I wasn't too sure mm. about the lemon at the start, but it's kind of like a sort of like a cheeky little undertone. Mm. It's just a little bit of sharpness. Yeah, mm. bang. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Now is probably the perfect opportunity mm. for you to plug what you're up to at the moment. New books, new shows, same old Liam. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's not just pasta, it's Willie's pasta. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, I've got to say, you've had a nice time. Yeah, it was all right, it was good. Let's wrap this bitch up. Liam. Yes. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Can I take my special walk Take with your you? special walk with you, off you pop. Bye. It's been good to see you, I've got to say. We've enjoyed having you here, but all good things must come to an end. So I'll just, I'll just get that closed. Right, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh. That was Liam Charles in my kitchen for an episode of Someone's in the Kitchen. We've had a nice time. We've had some drinks. We've had some laughs. And we've had some chorizo-based dishes. Well, we've had one chorizo-based dish, and it's been great. Thanks for joining me. Do make sure to like and subscribe. There will now be a minute's silence for the time we've all lost over the last 10 minutes.